And welcome back, Pine Belt. We're not expecting any warm temperatures today, but we're going to see some changes as we go throughout the rest of the week. Luckily, none of them are going to be humid and muggy like we did see over the weekend. Over in Laurel, sitting pretty clear right now, feeling just a bit cooler than the actual temperature, sitting at 47, actual temperature 49 degrees over there. And as we take a look over at some other areas of the Pine Belt, over in Hattiesburg, feeling like 51, and actual temperature 51 degrees over there. So some of us are feeling a little bit of a wind chill as we start our morning today, but we're seeing a lot of cloud cover out there as well. You notice mostly cloudy skies have been sticking around over the past several hours, and we can expect those to stick around for a couple more hours as we head into the afternoon. But currently temperatures into the 40s and 50s all across the board. Still sitting at 49 in Columbia, 46 for Collins, 47 in Moselle, 51 for Petal, 50 in Richmond and New Augusta, and 48 over in Waynesboro. But check out the temperature change over the past 24 hours. We have dropped about 14 to 15 degrees on average from where we were this time yesterday. So it's definitely going to be a nicer day across the area. We're not expecting any humid temperatures as we go throughout the day. We will get into the 60s though, which is right at average for this time of year, right at 65 degrees. And you notice mostly cloudy skies are expected as we hit those afternoon hours. And then as we go towards about five or six o'clock, the cloud cover will be clearing, though we can expect a partly cloudy evening overall for the rest of the night. But as we go throughout the day, one thing to note, it's going to be pretty gusty out there as we take a look at our wind gusts for the afternoon and the early morning hours, expecting up to about 25 miles an hour for some wind gusts all across the area, and that's going to last almost all day. You notice as we get towards about 6 to 7 o'clock this evening, we can't expect those wind gusts to start dying down, but it is going to be a pretty breezy day across the Pine Belt overall as we're seeing wind gusts up to about 8 to 10 miles an hour, even overnight into Tuesday morning. As we start our day on Tuesday, we're going to be into the 30s and 40s across the area, and mostly cloudy skies are expected for the morning, but we will see a little bit of clearing as we go throughout the early morning hours into the afternoon as well. Now temperatures are going to get into the 60s once again, which again is right at average for this time of year. So again, we're not expecting any muggy temperatures uh, or any feels like temperatures being pretty muggy like we saw over the weekend. But tracking out rain chances again, we're going to be clear for the next few days, but we do have a 20% chance of rain on Saturday. And as we take a look at the high temperatures, we are going to get into the 70s, but Saturday is about the only day that's looking even just a little bit under comfortable. It's not going to be too uncomfortable, but compared to Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to feel just a little bit muggy out there because we do have those rain showers rolling in as we go throughout the day on Saturday and into Sunday as well. Now Saturday again, 20% chance of rain, but Sunday it's about a 50% chance of rain as we are expecting some showers to come in on the uh, morning and e morning and afternoon hours, excuse me, of the day on Sunday. And then as we take a look at Monday again, we're clear for the rest of the day after that. But overnight tonight, Tonight, we're going to get into the 40s across the area again, partly cloudy skies, and it is going to be a little bit cooler than it was yesterday. And as we take a look at the seven day forecast, we are clear for the next several days across the Pine Belt. Overnight lows getting into the 30s on Tuesday morning into Wednesday, 58 degrees for Wednesday, mostly sunny skies expected for several days. But as we head into the weekend, we will see some scattered showers possible on Saturday and on Sunday.